For many teachers, bringing experts into the classroom is often an effective way of helping students learn, especially in areas that require specialized knowledge. Young people who commit serious violent crimes, first degree murder, second degree murder, attempted murder, manslaughter, and they are 14 to 17 years of age, they can actually receive an adult sentence for those types of crimes. So it for many of these grade six students, serious. a presentation by Lynn Harold of the John Howard Society is the first frank discussion they've ever had about crime, punishment, and justice. So if someone breaks the law, even if they're 12, they are responsible and then accountable under the law. Uh, they have to make up for what they've done. That's the way the law works. Um, In a series of one-hour lessons delivered over three days, Lynn speaks to preteen students about the Youth Criminal Justice Act, a law that these students will hopefully never need, but should definitely know about. The grade six program is very important because you're providing young people who are uh, turning 12 or very close to turning 12, uh, so they are responsible under the law. You're providing with the information that they really do need to know. I mean, uh, ignorance of the law is no defense. For the last 12 years, grade six teacher Sandra Holland has invited Lynn into her classroom to share her knowledge of the act with students. As teachers, we're, we're very much generalists, and so um, we know a lot about, uh, sorry, a little about a lot, but we, we don't have the expertise in some areas that people who do this as their daily job do. So um, Lynn's experiences within the criminal justice system as uh, both the Justice of the Peace and then as her role now with the John Howard Society. She has a wealth of information and stories that she can share with children that as a teacher I would not know about. You know we, know, we know the basics, but we don't have all of that deeper background information that really makes it meaningful for children. Right. Years and years ago in Canada, young people did not have these rights. Lynn delivers her presentation to hundreds of Southern Alberta students each year. When it comes to instruction in the Youth Criminal Justice Act, most agree this is an effective way to teach children. Well, I think it is because we have resources that we bring along. And it is important because in 2012 there were major, some major changes to the Youth Criminal Justice Act. So it's updated. Uh, uh, reliable information that they're receiving and they're not watching a, a television program and they're able to ask questions and get you know the right answers. Teachers like Sandra see the inclusion of outside experts in their classroom as another tool in their toolkit, another way to help prepare students for the future. We, we don't know whether we're going to help kids make those right choices or not but everything we can do to give them the information they need is our job as, as, as educators but also as a, as a community in general. And so if we can give them the information that they need and hopefully guide them along the way, hopefully they will make those right choices. And you know, that's our job as, a, as an education system is to build a citizenry that are responsible and that contribute positively to society. So hopefully this is part of our, our way of doing that.